Hi, this is Becky from More Than Borderline, and today I'm going to talk to you about how over-permissiveness can be a destructive environment. As I've often said before, I live in Indianapolis, and recently in Indianapolis, there has been a lot of coverage of a civil trial of a businessman who owned a local grocery store chain. He was the CEO, I mean, the building literally had his name on it, and he lived a life of excess comparable to what you've seen on Wall Street. He had five mistresses. He had an annual hunting and fishing jaunt up to Alaska at company expense, even though none of the company's stores were in Alaska. And he spent about $50,000 in a jewel brewer in New Mexico and uh, said he couldn't tell you what it was for because he'd probably forgotten. Just anyway, this guy lived high on the hog at his company's expense, even though most of his business ventures weren't company related. Now, the civil trial has revealed a lot of these excesses, but it's also raised the question, why didn't somebody step in? And it's a question we don't know. But this permissive environment allowed for these ex excesses, and eventually he got caught. And he has had to pay $2.2 million to the company for inappropriate expenditures. And the IRS is looking into back taxes. So it's really a big mess up here. But it sells papers. And it raises the question, where do you draw the line? This company was found equally liable for his expenditures because they never set any limits on him. They had no code of conduct that he signed on. And he said that even if there was a code of conduct as the CEO, he wasn't responsible for it. He had nobody setting limits on him. And it led to his destruction. It led to public humiliation when he was caught. It led to him having to repay $2.2 million. Million. Think about that. That's more than I've made in my life. He's had to pay $2.2 million to his company, which has since been sold. And he's basically been hoisted by his own petard because nobody set limits on him. And you may be wondering, well, what does this have to do with borderline personality disorder? If you don't set limits on yourself, or if you have a therapist who doesn't set limits on you, you're eventually going to run into trouble just as sure as this guy did. You have to set limits. And it can be hard to say no, especially if you've come from an overly permissive environment. That's one of the causes of borderline personality disorder, actually, is an overly permissive environment as a child. It's a destructive lifestyle. And you've got to set limits on yourself. How do you do that? You start small and you work your way up. If you know it's wrong, don't do it. If you know it's right, do it. You have to follow your code of ethics. And it can be as simple as following something that a company has written up. It can be as simple as following a religion. You really have to find your own code of ethics, set it, follow it, and make sure that it's comparable with what the world expects of people, a.k.a. not illegal. So, set limits on yourself. Because eventually you're going to run into someone who doesn't accept excuses, and it's a lot harder to fix that situation. Thank you.